This is what I call the Oh My God, and I guess you can call this episode two. My name is Joey Bryan. Um, this is one of my best friends, Ken. I don't like calling myself a Christian because to me, calling myself a Christian Catholic is um, it's kind of like saying I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. It, it doesn't fucking matter. You know, it just matters between me and God, you know. I was raised Catholic, and then I got sent to Texas to be a Bap or to be a Pentecostal. And then I came back, and I went back into the Pentecostal. And, and then I kind of pursued a Baptist way of life, which I kind of, I think I lean a little more towards Baptists. Um, Ken, what's your background, I guess? Well, I was uh, brought up an evangelical. Um, I went to a Catholic... Uh, junior high and the Catholic uh, high school um, and I don't know I, I wouldn't I wouldn't really classify myself as uh, I, I, I have no problem with using the name Christian because Christian is a follower of Christ and that's what I consider myself as a follower of Christ so um, I, I don't have a problem with that classification but you know at the same time you know the Catholic and the in the and the evangelical, I, I don't really kind of associate myself to, with any of those anymore because I do have a problem with that. I, I think that stuff is more of how um, man explain, explains theology, whereas I think I agree with you 100%. Is it's your relationship between you and, and God is your relationship, and, and you don't have to put a label on that. So I think a lot of people are what I call spiritually bankrupt in a sense of, they use it as a crutch in today's time where because it's almost like an in and cool thing to not like or believe or worship God. And because it is a very hip thing, I think they use that as a crutch. I'm not very hip and I don't ever plan to be hip. And this is where I think we differ, you know. Um, I don't mind telling God to fuck off once in a while because I have a good relationship with him. He knows me well enough to know it's kind of like when you when you get upset with your father and you sit there and you have your moments where you tell dad, you know, fuck you. Of course you get your ass spanked by God after, or by dad after. That's a Freudian slip I've ever heard one. That's a little couch trip. But, um, I and I believe that's what karma is. And it's funny how Muslims, Jews, Christians, everyone all, it all comes from the desert. Even Muslims have the Archangel Michael as well. So it, it all ties together. Um, real quick, I want to answer the question and a couple of trivia things I put out there. I said, there are only two people. There's Cain and Abel. So when Abel was slain, there's Cain left, okay? Am I... Where, where, where did Cain... How did he create the Canaanites? How, how did he recreate shit, basically? Um, I'm going to answer in a second. Theory, what I believe. What do you think, my, uh, Ken? Well... Might as well put me on the spot. Um, I don't know what the real th theological answer is to this, but I remember talking about this uh, a couple times in different. I don't believe that Cain and Abel were the the only two you know children that they had. There was other ones, you know. Just just like you know what, there's a lot of different. Uh, there's a lot of different history that's that is passed down by word of mouth and it's not in history books um and that mm -hmm. doesn't make it any less true you know it's just not documented so it's it's hard to prove but there were, <clears throat> there was other children and also you gotta remember when the bibles are made there are books and books and stories and stories and books and books and books and books i mean there are so many of them written and documented there are shit on stones just i mean there, i mean there's so much scrolls and whatnot out there but King James was kind of like <laughs> the editor from uh, Spider-Man or Superman where he's like that story does not make the paper no thank you you know so the King James Roy really took a lot of stories out now if you really want to search your history if you're really in history as a Christian you should embrace the Torah from the Hebrews that's what it all came from you know, and then you'll kind of have more. I, you know, I think we we're leaning to the same thing. I think, and don't stir wrong with this. I think he recreated with his sisters that weren't documented. But incest wasn't really so much an incest back then. 
it was a procreation thing. Like, uh, uh, remember Noah got his daughters got him drunk, and yeah. they fucked him basically. Um, that was more of a sinful action of of uh, procreation, you know. Um, and God was very upfront about it. he wanted people to pass their seed on. In fact, I think it even says that masturbating is a sin because you're wasting your seed. Yeah, you cast your, it's better to cast your, yeah. your seed in the belly of a whore than to let it spill on the ground. But yeah. actually, where that comes back to too is uh, the whole yeah the laws back there the 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 uh, the um, Kashrut laws, I think is what they're called. All those, all those different, you know, Jewish laws. It was actually like just the way it was how they procreated. If a uh, if you were married, uh, if a younger, if an older brother married, and, and a lot of times the, the you know the the men would die just because it was a hard life. The man died. It was the younger son, younger brother's responsibility to marry that woman and impregnate her. To carry on the the, uh, the seed, and, and that's where that whole it's better to catch your seed upon the ground or in in the belly of a whore than on the, on the ground. That's where that comes from. Because so, if if apocalypse happened, okay, mm -hmm. if apocalypse happened, and I were to be killed, will you shoot your coming my wife to keep the generation going? <laughs> You're not related to me, so I wouldn't carry on the the uh, the bride name. <laughs> So you okay. know what you know you have to go next door and ask uh, your your brother you know over there yeah. James so, okay. he you know, could, why he, James why don't you come over here cut Joey's you got a piece. question for you cut, cut you some meat yeah <laughs> Joey's got a question for you um, the answer to the other question and plus I think Kane's proven to be uh, morally bankrupt so you know hint hint oh! <laughs> the answer to the other question what's the only man made thing in heaven. I think I told you. This. I think I told you. This. The only man-made thing in heaven. Yeah. Well, those either you know it or you don't. Well, actually, I, the, the reason I'm thinking on this is because I don't know how there can be anything man-made in ham heaven. You know. Holes in Christ's hand. Man. -made. Oh, that's true. Okay. No, I got you. But, but the, here, here's the thing too. That those those holes in Christ's hands. That's uh, that's in his human form. Do you think those holes are in his in his you know? And it's all supposition. You don't know in his his glorified form. You know, you're it's it's like saying that my soul has scar. You'll get scarred from what you do to my body. Is that necessarily true? I mean, you're getting into theoretical yeah. argument. Or, I don't I, know. I, I, you know, I mean, I'm not going to be you know by or uh, you know. Uh, what, what's well, the, here's another argument thing. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay, I I actually asked my pastor a long time ago. Did Jesus jerk off? Because <laughs> Jesus was a man, and there's certain things by science we can't control. We both agreed that Jesus did get a boner. We both agreed on this. We I don't know if he called it a boner, I can't remember, but it just certain science around your body you can't control. But he said Jesus had discipline, so he probably thinks he didn't jerk off. But he said he probably got a boner. And it's just kind of like, you know... Um, you know, when you get a boner and look at your mom change, do you jerk off? See, Joey, these are one of the things that I, I don't even really want to think about. But you know what? It's it's I've learned that you know nothing no, nothing. You, you think about everything, so yeah. it's like I, I would tend to agree with your pastors. You know, I'm sure you got a physiological, you know, you know, blood filled in there and stuff. But yeah, I I would agree that he probably had the discipline, you know, not. To and I that. I agree too, honestly. Other thing I want to talk about, um, the conspiracy of Mary Magdalene and Jesus. This is what I'm leading to, actually. I'm leading to somewhere. There's a conspiracy that Mary Magdalene and God um, had something. And my mom actually believes this. And there's a lot of people who think this. And I believe, this is what me and my mom believe. We believe that Jesus, because you sometimes have boyhood crushes. Does, does that make sense? You don't fall in love. I understand what you're saying. And it sounds kind of odd. It sounds... It, it's one of those things it sounds bad on paper <laughs> but in reality it's probably it's something different um, I think he had like a boyhood crush because he was a young man how old was Jesus uh, when he got crucified 33 33 and when do you think he met Mary Magdalene probably, like probably, 20s, probably late was, 20s you know I'd say early 20s he was you know he was he did that what I'd have to look to see how long when I read the Bible it almost feels like it said that him and Mary Magdalene has known each other for a while. It, it just feels that way. No, they did. He, found, he she was one of the early early stories. But I mean, I 
I would disagree with you with that as far as the boyhood crush thing. I don't think it was. It's it's you can take parts in scripture and you could twist it. You could also say you know John. I'm not, I'm not trying to twist. No, 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 no. I'm just I'm just telling you how you can you can twist things to make them look like there's something that they're not. Just like. Uh, John, the the the, uh, the beloved, he called him John, John the, the beloved. beloved. Okay, you could someone could take that and say, oh, John the beloved. Maybe he had, you know, some kind of homo type no, thing. You know? No, no, I, mean, I, 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 I would smack some yeah. it's, well, it's very, it's very clear. It's very clear cut that relationship. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, very that, clear. That and Magdalene, I mean, it's how how clear is that? Or clear is that? But she was, she was, you know, they, she was basically. You don't think she it, was a whore in the in the thing? And so as far as yeah, you're but, saying he had a boyhood crush on a, on a whore. Yeah. Jesus didn't look at people as a whore or as a peasant. He looked at everyone as the same. He's a Marxist. Well, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. He's mm-hmm. not, but I, you know, we're having to put a label on her. So I mean, whatever your God's God's thinking her of her as, you know, what he's think looking at at all people the same. Okay, is, is what you're saying. But you're telling me that he had a a, a special, you know, like. Uh, Love for this girl, not and not a brotherly love like what we're talking about, or yeah. sisterly love. You're saying that he had like a. Uh, I don't think he's getting boners. I think it's just like how kids have a crush on their bus driver type stuff. See, I I, I just associate crushes with 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 like a different type of love rather than. I don't do think there's lust behind it. Do you have a crush on? Do you ever crush on your mom, or did you ever have a crush on your mom? Oh, it's just similar to that one. I'll give you a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of a really good one. I can't really, I can't think of a good one. But I've had crushes, like, on friends, they're girls, where it's like, I don't love, but I crushed on them. It's like, you yeah, know. but that was, but there was something, you were crushing on them, but there was a sexual, you know, no, ideology no. behind it. So, I, the, only thing, the only thing I can think of is, like, I had a crush on my teacher along, actually, as a bus driver, I said bus driver. I had a very bad, I had a bad crush on her, and it wasn't sexual at all. Well, see, I had a crush on my teacher in first grade, but that yeah. was before when I knew what sex was. Yeah, see, and that's what I mean. But you can't say that he wasn't un- unaware. If you're, you're telling me, yeah, he could have that relationship. He's a guy. He was, he, if he was six years he was, old. He was, a, but... he was a human being. He has physical form. Mm-hmm. That means he's going to have physical emotions. There are guys. He's going to have... Oh, I agree. I agree he had all the stuff tearing at him, but I think that was part of what it was, was having the control and the discipline to, to do. Uh, you tell me you can control having a crush on someone? Was that I? I you know, a crush. I don't think he's I mean, gonna fall through. I don't think he's gonna sit there and he's not gonna pursue it. But it's kind of like you know, uh, man, another. I, I, I think it, I think it's a case of Jesus saying, "Another time, another place. Who knows?" <laughs> I, I I don't know. I think that's one of those things where a, a, a crush. You know, I mean, it's just like right in. I want to hear your guys' opinion on this. I don't see I love how, how, what, how, how it is, but I mean, that's just, like I said, that's one man's opinion, you know? I also want to go ahead and I want to, because this is something I'm very sincere with, I want to go ahead and do a prayer with Ken. I'm going to lead the prayer and I'm going to let you chime in if something you want to chime into. Um, I actually was going to pray for the soldiers and I think the preachers, I think you should pray for soldiers out there. They need as much prayer as possible. Believe me, I was a soldier, I know. But actually my prayer always gets switched around to something different, so... I'm going to pray for something different, actually. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, please hear my prayer in heaven. I pray that there is someone out there in this internet that's going to take up my offer and respond to this. I pray, Lord Jesus, Lord Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega, I pray that they come on this show. I pray that they go ahead and they go head to head with me. Lord, I pray that they prove me wrong, Lord. I pray that they teach me some ways, Lord. I pray maybe that might teach some ways. Who knows, Lord? This is your mysterious, odd way, the way you sit shit up. I don't fucking know, God. But only you know what's going on. Lord Jesus Almighty, amen. Dear Lord, I'd especially like to reiterate uh, Joey praying for our soldiers out there. I mean, I just, I, I wish you would, you would, you know, it's, they're out there for a reason. You know, it's, it's ultimate God, our ultimate goal is to bring your glory. Um, Please, you know, just just lay your hand uh, on them and, and protect them and, and keep them in your care. I I pray for all the the, the sick and hungry and, and you know struggling people, you know, in our country and any other country too that are just you know that that, that are, are trying just to make their way you know through things. I, I specifically pray also for some of the people in, in my that I know in my life that are, are struggling with uh, with uh, medical issues. I just I just pray that you lay their hand your hand on them and, 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 and just and just guide them through whatever challenges that they may may have. Um, um, I just uh, I, I, I ask that 
I ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. This is what I like to encourage. Definitely come out and church it up with me. I call this Oh My God segment two, episode two, whatever. Uh, but I encourage you guys to go out there and just cut a prayer. It doesn't have to be some crazy gang sign we do all this shit, you know. You're talking to God. He fucking knows you. If you went up to God and you did, and this is just me, and you did your prayer and you try to hold back your F words, you hold back this, and you pretend, oh, I don't want to suck a dick, God. I don't want to suck a dick. I ain't gay. God knows everything. Every When you're jerking off, he's watching you. I'm being dead serious. So you might as well be honest with the guy and talk to him straight as, as possible. I mean, God knows me backwards and forward. It's kind of like an equate to, uh, um, like I get changed and I, I don't think too much into this. I'm sitting there, I'm taking a piss. I don't sit there and go, I wonder if my son's looking at me taking a piss. No, I don't think like that. It's just, we're family. We, we, he's going to see me, you know, change into my fucking ass grabbers or put my boxers on, you know. Or it's kind of like when I, when I, you know, give my son a bath, you know. I know everything about him, you know. Also, um, I really, oh, I almost lost my uh, train of thought. I was going to come up with a question for this week. Um, oh, did you come up with one? Um, what did... What did the burning bush say to... to uh, to Moses when he was in the when the burning bush appeared to Moses in the desert what did he say to him it sounds like a setup is what it sounds like I will have the answer for you next week but I swear to you it sounds like it's like a setup for a joke but okay it's not no I'll go with it that, that sounds like a, it sounds like a good one uh, let me ask you this what do you think God thinks of Republicans me are you yeah, asking yeah, me yeah uh, you guys out there too. I, oh, I was gonna say I don't think you think anything of them. I don't think God sees in terms of Republicans and Democrats. You know what I mean, or Libertarians mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, I don't think you know. I don't think. See, we have all these categories for stuff here, and I, I don't think God breaks things down into categories. I mean, just as far as in God's eyes, there's sin and there's Good point. no sin, and Good that's point. that's it. So you know what? Whether I'm yeah. a Republican and I'm a sinner, or I'm a Dem we're all sinners. Whether yeah. Republicans, Democrats. All that stuff is all earthly stuff. You know what I mean? So you hear that, politicians? You're all going to hell. It's good to hear. I would agree. And this is coming from a Republican. <laughs> I'm an anarchist. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Definitely call in. Give me a video response. Write in. Um, I'd love to have you on the show. Unless you're a pussy. Yeah. So. I'll see you guys later. I'll give you the D student salute.